Um, no, I think, again, I feel like I say the same things every week in that there's really, really bright spots and then moments of inconsistency. So I don't know that I have much more to say there. Um, I think, yeah, I think we're a team that's learning how to – really be resilient through those kind of ebbs and flows. Um, and it's up to us to kind of ride those waves and hit our momentum here going into second half of conference. Um, really feeling confident and feeling like any game can be our game. And I think we do feel that way. It's just uh, kind of all of us collectively showing up on the same night, I think. Uh, statistically, we'll put us in a better place to close out sets. And then once we get to 22 points, we just got to go take it. I think we're getting there a lot. but. Um, we tighten up or, yeah, we just got to take a closer look at our, I think, our mentality in those moments, um, you know, and then just some tactical things we can tweak to make us even stronger and more confident. But, yeah, it's a funky two-week kind of series where we go to um, Sac State this Thursday and then come home, play a home match against Portland State, and then immediately go to Bozeman on Tuesday and then play again here on Friday. So, um yeah, kind of the repeat of the beginning of the season. Um, it's a little bit hectic, and I think the key is just to be feel rested um, and feel, I don't know, the experience of the last however many weeks of conference just building up so that we can, you know, have a breakout weekend. You kind of touched on it, but it seems like you guys have had a lot of sets where it's either close or even you guys have taken some leads, some big mm -hmm. leads early in sets and kind of you know, let them away a little bit. What yeah. do you guys have to do differently kind of in those close sets or even in those sets that you have a lead, you know, to kind of finish it out? Yeah. I, to me, it has to be mental, um, which is really hard to be specific about what exactly it is because no one can see what, he, you know, anybody else is thinking. But I think with a lot of our less experienced players, our younger players, we're getting into that moment. And I don't know, we're focused on outcome a little too much or maybe – worried that we can't pull through and do it, but there's something about our group where we get to that moment and we back off a little bit. And so I think we have a collective belief, but it's the, I think we've all seen an athlete that says, that kind of demands the ball in those pressure situations. And I think we have those people. It's just all of us kind of doing that at once in every facet of the game. Um, and so I think, I think the answer's there. You know, it sounds a little bit cliche, but we just, I think we have to put the pressure on in practice and I don't know. I kind of, it's been agonizing, I'm not gonna lie, but I think that going through that with as young of a group as we have just means that the long-term picture um, is really bright in terms of our mental toughness and our ability to know, okay, we've been in these types of situations multiple, multiple times over our career and we're learning how to get through them. So um, I really think that that's it. I don't think there's anything else we need to do. I think if we get to 22, we're physically capable of getting to 25. It's just that mental piece of knowing we can, pushing through that, um, and yeah, executing when pressure's on the line. What's your well um, in those sets that you guys are winning? Mm -hmm. What have you seen that you really like? Yeah. And then what's kind of like your sort of downfall? Yeah, no, I do. I think <laughs> I think serve receive is kind of our Achilles heel in moments right now, and it's not any you know one individual. It's just collectively we're breaking down, um, and to be more resilient in that area at the end of a set where our opponents are kind of relaxing and going after us, I think is really key. Um, if we're in, if we are able to pass close to the net, um, Ashley's physical and fast and high enough to be able to set any one of our hitters who are also physical fast and high enough to terminate and get kills. We just end up in a lot of bad ball situations at the end of sets. Um, and I don't think we're making extremely tentative errors, but I, I don't know that we're always going for it. We're always kind of going for the point. I think we're, sometimes our choices are a little bit playing it safe. Um, and then as we extend those rallies, we're kind of losing momentum and confidence in those longer rallies. And yeah, it kind of snowballs from there. But service receive for sure. In case we don't get to talk to you before the trip to Boston, can yeah. you talk about what you learned the first time around when you hosted the Cats here? Yes. I feel like we are light years away from that and not even the same team anymore. <laughs> um, and 
you know, we came out kind of really strong against them. The first set was really close. We had the lead in the first set down the stretch. I don't remember, you know, what the point spread was, but um, felt really good at 20. And I think we've been in that situation so many times. We are learning how to push through that. We're winning more sets than we were uh, back then. And I think Bozeman is a team um, and MSU is a program that ball controls really well and just executes their game plan really well. And if we are high error in any way or um, not really forcing them to make a lot of plays, then they're a team that can kind of pick you apart uh, pretty quickly. So just knowing some things about them and knowing where our downfalls have been, I think just our service eve needs to show up if we're going to be in the match. And then um, we have to use our physicality. We have to swing for kills from point one to point 25. And, you know, it's Grizz Cat, so anything can happen. We just have to use those emotions to help pinpoint our focus in really deliberate ways so we're not just out there kind of, um, yeah, having a lot of energy but not knowing what to do with it, which can happen in that rivalry game. <laughs> yeah. What, what do you, what's really changed about your team? I mean, it's only been a month. No, I know. Somewhat <laughs> close on that. You know, how has it changed from uh, September, one to October? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Halloween. Um, no, I think. I think virtually everything about us has changed. Um, what I love about this group is that we take one concept and one technical area of our game, whether it's coverage, serve, receive, um, attacking, you know, anything. We talk about it in practice, we focus on it and work on it, and automatically, statistically, it shows up better as an improvement in our next match. And so over the course of a month, um, you that's enough time to sort of address all levels of our game. And so I feel like every level of our game has increased statistically um, and consistently throughout the course of that time. And just having the freshmen um, that we have, that we rely on, just having gone through another month out of you know the scope of a season, um, having gone through another month for them to perform, to be counted on, to be in those situations again, I think they carry themselves differently and are just different players than they were a month ago. So it feels, when we look at it and we talk about it like a short amount of time, but as you live it, it feels very long. Um, and I mean that in a good way. It's not like it's dragged on. I think we're using our time really wisely. So I'm proud of the group. Um, they're hungry. And like I said, they get after it in ways that we get better all the time. So um, we feel different. Piggybacking off of that, you kind of talked about how each statistic that you're better in mm -hmm. the last month of this quarter during non conference play. Obviously, the first month of the season after the game last week, it's MSU you didn't have Ashley. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk a little bit about how vital the role she plays on the court this year, what she brings to this team? Yeah, no, I think Ashley. Um, just in the setting role to have a senior and someone who's been starting for three years um, can't be understated. And I think her her ability to lead and provide our team some calm and some confidence um, is incredible. And then I think just her physicality at the net, not a lot of teams in our conference have a setter that's her size. Um, when we pass tight to the net, she can hold a block that creates splits. She can be offensive herself, um, have a high amount of attempts if we get the ball up there for her. And, and so she's a threat offensively. Um, she's an outstanding blocker. And so there's just elements of her game that allow us to be more physical and really, I think, put a lot of pressure on the opponent's block um, and defense. We look different when she's setting us because of how high she is um, and how physical she can be at the net. And that's pretty uncommon. So yeah, that's a huge difference. And you've seen with her kind of getting back into the rhythm of things, all of our offensive statistics have gone up and I think defensive as well, just with her blocking um, and with what we're able to do with her in the front row.